Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. Darling, I already polished that one. What are you doing? I'm trying to rub up a genie so that when the genie says, what do you wish, I can say, I wish my brother would call, and he would. I think you'll have better luck producing the genie than your brother. You realize he's been going for four hours? You suppose he forgot? Oh, maybe that's him. Laura, who you been talking to? Rob, no one on the phone. I've been trying to get you for an hour to find out if you needed more pots. Oh, yeah, we do. Thank you. Well, I haven't been using the phone. Well, I got a busy signal. Honey, did you hang up the bedroom when I picked up the kitchen? Oh, my gosh. No, I didn't. How do you like that? We've been holding our breath for a phone call and never stood a chance. Why have you been holding your breath? Well, Stacy finally got up the nerve to go tell Julie the truth about himself. Who's Julie? His girlfriend. Oh, that's her name. Well, what's the truth about himself? We know about how his girlfriend thinks that he's James Garner. She thinks your brother's James Garner? <laughs> Didn't you tell her? Well, Rob, you told me not to. You mean that works? <laughs> Sometimes. How come she thinks he's James Garner? Well, uh, Millie Wayman, how much do you know about all this? Well, I know when Stacy was in the army, he wrote letters to this girl, and he thinks he's in love with her, but he's never met her, and he's afraid to meet her. <laughs> well, I told her a little. <laughs> and I also know that Stacy's opening up this nightclub, and you're putting up the money, and you two are supposed to be down there decorating tonight. You told her a lot. <laughs> yeah, but she left out the best part. How come she thinks Stacy's James Garner? Well, because he's been signing his letters to her like that way. Well, why would he use an actor's name to sign his letters? Uh, no, no, not James Garner, the actor. This James Garner is a drummer friend of Stacy's, and he got him to write love letters for him. Oh, like Cyrano de Bergerac. Well, yeah, something like that. The thing is, when this Garner lost interest in the girl, Stacy didn't. Yeah, and so Stacy kept on writing to her for himself, but signing Garner's name. You mean this whole romance is based on her thinking he's another guy? Right. No wonder he's afraid to meet her. I don't know why he couldn't wait until after the club opened. He's been here a whole week. He had to wait till the night to go tell her and explode the bomb. Well, what's one thing got to do with the other? Well, it's a basic business principle, Millie. You should never open a nightclub the night after you've gone and told your girl you love that you're not James Garner. Very bad for business. <laughs> Honey, there's no use of us waiting for him to call us after 8 o'clock. We might as well go down and start decorating. Boy, some decorating a bunch of crummy coffee pots hanging from the walls and the ceilings. What's he going to call the place? The coffee pot. Hey. Listen, Millie, would you mind waiting here for just a couple of minutes in case Stacy calls? Sure, will I tell him? Well, just tell him to get down to the club and help us decorate, that's all. Hello. Hi, Rob. Stacy, where are you? Well, I'm in a drugstore and near the, uh, about, on 70, say, uh, near 70, it's about a, a the number is a five, 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 what's the difference, Rob? <laughs> so, what are you doing? I, I was just getting ready to go up to Julie's apartment. Well, aren't you at the club? You were supposed to see Julie hours ago. I, I know, but I had this thing to do. What's that? Work up courage. <laughs> oh, Stacy, couldn't you have done that yesterday? Don't you care anything about the nightclub? It's opening tomorrow night, you know. Yeah, you're, you're right, Rob. I'm, I'm going on down to the club. I'll forget all about Julie. Wait, no, I'll hold it, Stacy. As long as you're there, you take your courage and go up to Julie's. We'll take your pots and go downtown. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. I'll see you at the club. Uh, good luck. Uh, not, not good luck to you. Good luck to me. I'm the no one that's going down. Well, he's just going up there now? Yep, and I don't think he's ready. What'd he say? He just wished me good luck. Well, looks like you and I are the decorators. Well, if things don't work out, one of us got to learn to play the banjo. Uh, Millie, you want to come down and help us decorate? No, thanks. Well, go home. <laughs> Julie, should I reheat the coffee or make fresh? Oh, whatever you think is best. I've given up. I imagine that the our young soldier will want some refreshments when he gets here. I think he has stood me up. Don't feel badly, Miss Julie. Could you ask the elevator operator if 
Mr. Petri has been looking for me? Yes, miss. Thank you. Petra? Stacy? Why, how nice to see you. We've been worried. We thought something had happened. I've been waiting for you for two hours. Come on in. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll take that. Yes. <laughs> Come on in, Stacy. I, I want to hear. Come on. I want to hear all about Jim. We have so much to talk about. I'm uh, sorry I'm late, I, but I, I was early. <laughs> I was early uh, coming here, and so I went to a, a newsreel and had a ham, a hamburger. Not in the what? newsreel, and later at a, at a uh, diner. One, yeah, uh -huh. I'm sorry, I'm late. Uh huh. Well, the, the main thing is that you're here. Sit down. I, I, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm just sitting in the chair there. I'm so. You sure? You sure you're okay? Yeah, I, I'm so used to the army uh, taking orders. You said sit, not pull. <laughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? Sure. How do you like your coffee? Fine. <laughs> no, I, I mean, what do you like in your coffee? What do you, what do you do we put in yours? Oh, cream and sugar. Good. That's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can't get over it. I'm, re I'm really here. <laughs> well, I envy you, Stacy. Why, you're here, too. <laughs> I envy you because you were there. Where? With Jim. Yeah, how, how was he? <laughs> well, you just left him. Oh, he, he's fine. And how are you? I'm, I'm fine, too. And how's your club? It's uh, fine, I... Uh... Did it open yet? Well, it's, well it opens tomorrow. That's, a re that's really not a, a club. It's more of a... Uh, where they, uh, uh, Saloon? No, it's a, a coffee house. Coffee, you know, little uh, coffees and uh, and uh, <laughs> cheese and uh, and uh, hot cider. And I tell I tell funny stories and play the. Uh, oh, uh, the banjo! Jim wrote me what a great banjo you play. <laughs> hey, say, Stacy, do you mind if I invited myself to your opening? Oh, nuts. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, I, I wanted to invite you. Go ahead. Well, you're, you're already coming. <laughs> oh, Stacy. I feel so silly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Why? This is like something out of an old-time movie. Yeah. What? Well, the two of us sitting here and me waiting for you to tell me all about the man I think I'm in love with. You think you're in, you're in love with? Well, I can't be sure. After all, the only time I met him face to face was at the hospital, and then he was just coming out of ether. Yeah, he, he, he thought he was dead. <laughs> he said you look like a, a, an angel. He said oh. and he, he was right. You, you, he couldn't, wasn't kidding. You do. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Now, come on, Stacy. Tell me all about Jim. I mean, tell me what he's doing, what he looks like, what he says about me, everything. You got a haircut. I have a haircut. No, no, me. Well, uh, uh, the, reason, the reason you haven't uh, heard from him, uh, uh, Julie, is because in his, uh, in his last letter, uh, uh, here. Oh, Stacy, special delivery. Thank you so much. You don't mind if I open it now, do you? Oh, I think it'd be best, better that way. It's for it, both of us. <laughs> Dear Julie, take a good hard look at Stacy because what I have to tell you concerns him. You know he mentioned you in every letter. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Julie, I want you to know that my pen is no longer the adequate courier of my feelings for you. Oh, isn't that sweet? It's a real poet. <laughs> and I think the time has come for me to step from behind this paper curtain and let you discover a truth about us. Maybe I better read the rest to myself. No, read it out loud. Out loud. <laughs> I'm not the man you think I am. You have said in your letters 
that you think of me as kind and considerate. Well, maybe I am, but Jim Garner isn't. If you want to meet the man who wrote these letters, the man you really love, just lower this page and, and look straight ahead. <laughs> You wrote all these letters? Yeah. And you signed his name? Yeah. How could you? Oh. Are, are you mad? No! No! Oh. Wait a minute. I don't think you've made a mistake here, ma'am. I don't think I'll write her any more letters. What time is it? She's almost 12. Well, she must like him. Yeah. Well, now, I don't mind if you didn't come back here to help us help him. Well, the kitchen is ready to roll. Oh, thanks, Lou. It's my job. I hope you guys got more luck in this joint than the last guy. Do you know how many bosses I've worked for in this cellar in the last three years? How many? I don't know how many. That's how many. <laughs> the last year, this place has been called the winery, the salad bowl, the fruit cup, the tea bag, and now... Uh, What's the name now? Coffee Pot. What can I tell you? <laughs> you mean to tell me nobody's ever made a go here? Yeah, the first guy. He had the right idea for this cellar. What do you have here? A cellar. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you tomorrow night at the grand opening. Yeah, what time does the crowd usually get here? A crowd never gets here. <laughs> Well, see you tomorrow night. We'll have plenty of time to talk. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Anyway, Stacy's romance has got a lot better chance than his business. He hires such a pessimist. I think he came with a lease. <laughs> this neighborhood may be gypsies. Stacy! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, well. What's the use? What's the use? Stacy, what happened with Julie? The man starts out, his hopes are high, and then it happens. His plans are dashed to the ground, so he buys a bottle and ends up in the gutter. He just lies there singing. <laughs> Wait a minute, you've been, uh, you've been lying in a gutter singing? Not me, a guy near the subway. <laughs> But I could end up there. Oh, come on, Stacy. You don't even drink. <laughs> I could learn. <laughs> Willie Cook learned. Uh, who's Willie Cook? The guy in the gutter. <laughs> How do you know his name? <laughs> you get to know a lot about a guy when you spend an evening with him, Laura. You spend an evening in the gutter with a drunk? I couldn't let him just lie there. I bought him a bowl of lentil soup. Oh, <laughs> well, that was uh, nice of you. <laughs> nice of me. Rob, there but for the grace of providence go you. Me? How'd I get in there? Yeah, I'll tell you. If, um... Laura. Laura here to turn you down the, the way his girl once did or the way my Julie did, you could, you could be lying in the... Uh, the gutter? Yeah. <laughs> Julie didn't like you. Didn't like me. She hit me. She hit you? Twice. At least twice. It would have been more... Tinker hadn't stepped in. Who's Tinker? He'll get to it. <laughs> a man goes to a girl with his heart in his hands, and she just turns him away just, just because of one little detail. Yeah, what Stace posing as somebody else really isn't a little detail. He was a brilliant actor. Who? Tinker. Willie Cook. Or the drunk. <laughs> Should have never told Julie I was me. Yeah, but you had to sooner or later. At least we still would have been in love with each other. Now she hates me. Shouldn't have ever told her. Well, Stace, look, in one way, you're lucky. At least you know exactly where you stand. Something like this hurts for a little while, but you can go on with other things. What other things? Well, you, your career, the new club. No, I don't care. Rob, uh, not now. Uh, no, uh, yes, now. He's a big boy now. He's got responsibilities to himself and to us. Well, like maybe if Well, you... maybe you should go make some coffee, honey. We don't have any. <laughs> Stacy, you remember what Pop used to tell us, that no two human beings in the world are any closer together than two brothers are. Yeah, Pop. 
Well, no matter how much we ever disagreed or fought, we could always at least talk to each other. That's what I'd like to do now, just talk to you. Well, let me say, first off, Stacey, I understand exactly how you feel. Nobody knows how I feel! You don't know, and she doesn't know. There's only one man that knows that's a man who's been through it, Willie Cook. The drunk. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Laura. I didn't mean to shout. Oh, Stace, that's all right. You've got to let it out sometimes. It's better that way. I know exactly how you feel. Nobody knows how I feel! <laughs> okay, nobody knows how you feel. No, Stace, I, I didn't mean that I know how you feel. I just meant that it isn't hard to understand. Honey, don't just you... say it. Well, you <laughs> know what I mean. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, uh, Stace, wait a minute. Where are you, where are you headed? Out. Where? I don't know. Well, well, Stace, it's after midnight. Yeah, look, Stace, why don't you go home and get some rest? You got a big day tomorrow. It's opening night here. Let it open without me. But, Stace, it can't. You're the only one in the show. So it won't open. Now, come on, Stace. You can't go out and wander around in the dark. Rob, will you please get out of my way? Look, Stace, I'm your older brother. You're living with me. I have got money invested in this. I hung up your pots for you. And what's more, I do know how you feel. Nobody knows Everybody how I feel. Everybody knows how you feel. Nobody knows. Everybody knows how you feel. Really? <laughs> Who's never been rejected? Stacy, we've all been rejected. That's right. Honey, would you please tell him how you felt about me when we first met? Just tell him, will you? Well, I couldn't stand Rob. I thought he was arrogant, repulsive, insufferable. <laughs> just to hearing his voice, Stacy, used to make my flesh crawl. I thought he was just about the most. What we're trying to say, Stacy, is that <laughs> maybe it isn't over with Julie. You know, I mean, look at us. Our beginnings couldn't have any words. I, mean, I thought he was brash and vulgar. <laughs> I think we've covered that, honey. <laughs> uh, it's just that the thing is that there's not just one person for every other person. Right. Stays. If Rob had continued to revolt me, I have no doubt in this world I would have found somebody just as nice as Rob, maybe even nicer. And I wouldn't exactly have jumped off a cliff if I hadn't married Laurie either. I could have. There's no telling what kind of a great girl I might have found. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. I'll, I'll go in the office and get my banjo. I'll, I'll go with you. Oh, good. You think I was a little too tough on him? No, no, I think I was a little too tough on you. <laughs> I, think I was a little too tough on him. No, you weren't, darling. If you'd upset him, he'd never have agreed to come home with us. Honey, yeah. isn't uh, Stacy's banjo back at our house? It was on the chair. Yeah. Then what is in the office? The alley! Stacy! Stacy, come back! That son of a gun ran away! Where to? Well, I hope he didn't go back to the gutter with that drunk Willie Cook. <laughs> Poor guy, I know exactly how he feels. Nobody knows how he feels! <laughs> I'm his own brother. I don't know how he feels. How can you possibly know how he feels? I know. Everybody needs to know how the fork he feels! Keep ringing. I'm coming. Keep ringing. Hello. Hello. Don't hang up. Hello. No. Who's this? This is Julie Kincaid. Oh, this is his brother, Rob. Is Stace there? Uh, no. Isn't he there? No, he isn't here. It's Julie. I've been trying to reach him all night. Well, what do you want him for? Oh, oh, well, that's rather personal. What? What? Well, just a second. It's uh, rather personal. <laughs> No, I mean, she's been looking for him all night, and, and she wants to tell him something very personal. It's... Oh. Uh, listen, Julie. Yeah. Stacy told us the whole story. Ooh, you must hate me. No, I, you must hate Stace. Oh, no, I don't. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, that's wonderful. What? What? what what's wonderful? She doesn't hate Stace at all. Not at all. <laughs> um, as, as a matter of fact... As a matter of fact, I'm telling my wife. Oh. I'm sure she'll understand exactly how I felt. She says she's sure you'll understand how she felt. Oh, I'm sure she felt just awful. She says she's sure you felt just awful. Really. Oh, I did, I did. She did, oh, she did. <laughs> I've done a lot of thinking since then. She's done a lot of thinking since then. And when it first happened, when he first told me how he fooled me, 
I said to myself, I hate that Stacy Petrie more than anything in this world. She hates him more than anything in this world. Oh, well, the heck with her. The heck with... No. I skipped the part. That was before. Uh, oh. Well, how does she feel about him now? Uh, Julie, how do you feel about him now? All I really know about either Jim or Stacy is what I read in those letters. Right. And I became interested in the man who wrote those letters, so Stacy must be a pretty nice guy. A great guy. Who? Who's a great guy? Stacy. Did she say that? No, I said that. <laughs> Please. But I'm, my wife's talking to me. I, I just wonder if you'd give Stacy a message for me. Oh, sure, sure. W would you tell him that I'm, I'm sorry for the way I acted, and I'd like to see him again, and uh, I'd like to come to the club opening tomorrow night if he still wants me. Oh, Julie, I know he'd want you to come. Uh, to where? To where? To, uh, the club, club. Wait, honey, please, we... Uh, no, not you, Julie. I'm please. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you at the club. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. That's great. She's coming to the opening tomorrow night. What makes you think Stacy's going to be there? Well, honey, I know my brother. He's a kind of a kid that if, if he doesn't show up, I'll kill him. <laughs> Ah, good evening, folks. Welcome to the tea bag. The coffee pot. What's the difference? <laughs> How do you like this for a turnout? Turnout. <laughs> In three years, this is the worst. Even the boss didn't show up. You mean he's not here? I just told you he's not here. By the way, where is that brother of yours, Mr. Banjo? We haven't seen him since yesterday. Well, I wonder what they'll call this place next. <laughs> Must be me. Got to be me. I'm gonna kill him. I'll kill him. Bob, do you think we ought to call the police? Maybe. You might end up in the gutter with that drunken actor Willie Cook again. Sir, I have an announcement to make. I have left the gutter for good. <laughs> Willie Cook. At your definite service, sir. Where's Stacy? Your brother, adultated though he is, will arrive here presently, refreshed and ready for his debut. And for that, sir, you may thank me. Well, I will thank you when I see him. Thank away, sir, for yonder the merry young minstrel approaches. Oh, Stacy, thank goodness. Good evening, Stacy. I'll see you along. Hi, Willie. Stacy, I ought to belt you one. Why didn't you tell us where you were? Do you know we were ready to call the police? Well, I, I I had to think this one out for myself. And? Well, I've always wanted a place like this, and, and you know I'm the kind of guy, if I didn't show up, you'd kill me. So I, <laughs> I decided to try to make a go of it. Well, good boy. What'd you decide about Julie? That I never want to see her again. Oh, dear. Stay, she's coming here tonight. What? Yeah, she, she called last night to apologize. Well, I don't, I don't care. She's out of my system, and I never want to see her again. I see her again, she's back in my system. Hello, Stacy. Hi. I, I just want you to know that... I know, I, and for me, too, oh, it's always... I understand, and when you said that... Well, it's I, impossible to, for oh, me to say. Oh, I did, and when you... I, I really... Agree. Well, that's what it's important. Yes, it is. I don't understand the word they're saying. As long as they do, dear, that's all that matters. <laughs> Presenting the star and the proprietor of the coffee pot, Mr. Banjo himself, Mr. Stacy Petri. <laughs> kill them. <laughs> thank you, Willie. Uh, before I kill you, uh, I'd like to thank everybody who made this evening possible for me, and especially the one person who, in my heart, is the most responsible for my being here. Uh, my heartfelt and, and deep appreciation uh, go out to, to Willie Cook. <laughs> Hello, Dolly. Well, yeah.